Good evening, my dear friends, and welcome. Welcome to our evening prayer this evening, which celebrates the solemnity of Christ the King, which officially ends the church's year of ordinary time. And obviously next week we begin to prepare for the season of Advent. So I welcome Mary, I welcome Nirmala, and I welcome our sister Sue with those who've not logged in. You are more than welcome. And now we begin to light our candles for global peace. And also for our brothers and sisters in Japan, where today they had a rather unpleasant earthquake measuring six on the Richter scale. So we remember our brothers and sisters in Japan. A shade are you in the heat, O oh God, a shelter are you in the cold. Eyes are you to the blind, O oh God, a staff are you to the weak. An island are you at sea, O oh God, a rock are you on land. O oh, my soul's healer, keep me at evening, keep me at morning, keep me at noon. I am tired, astray, and stumbling. Shield me from sin, O oh, my soul's healer. Shield me from sin. And that was a prayer from the lovely little book of Celtic prayers from Iona. And they mean so much to my heart because they go back hundreds of years to the year 500 and something. And they're steeped in Celtic spirituality. So lovely to begin this evening. Our prologue to our Saturday evening communions are, <clears throat> excuse me, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother, God, the earthly mother, and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Saturday evening, we commune with the angel of eternal life saying, angel of eternal life, descend upon me and give eternal life to my spirit. As these words are said, you contemplate union with the currents of thought of the supreme superior planets against power to overcome the sphere of gravitation of the earthly currents of thought. Let us be still in the presence of God. Let us come as we are, beloved children of God, and if anything ails you or troubles you, this is the place to share it, for you are in the presence of God. Why do I say that? Because Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with you. So let us begin now with the solemn feast of Christ the King. And our evening Vespers begins with our our hymn, O God, come to my aid, O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail Redeemer, King Divine. Priest and Lamb, the throne is thine. King whose reign shall never cease. Prince of everlasting peace. Angels, saints and nations sing. Praise be Jesus Christ, our King. Lord of life, earth, sky and sea. King of love on Calvary. King whose name creation thrills. Rule our minds, our hearts, our wills, till in peace each nation rings with thy praises, King of kings. Angels, saints, and nations sing, praise be Jesus Christ, our King. 
Lord of life, earth, sky and sea, King of love on Calvary. King most holy, King of truth, guide the lowly, guide the youth. Christ, thou King of glory bright, be to us eternal light. Angels, saints, and nations sing, praise be Jesus Christ, our King. Lord of life, earth, sky, and sea, King of love on Calvary. Shepherd King, o'er mountain steep, homeward bring the wandering sheep. Shelter in one royal fold, states and kingdoms new and old. Angels, saints, and nations sing, praise be Jesus Christ, our King. Till in peace, sorry, Lord of life, earth, sky, and sea, King of love on Calvary. The first antiphon, he will be called the peacemaker, and his throne will stand forever. And now we read Psalm 112. Praise, O servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens our heart with children. Now let us pray the Gloria together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He will be called the peacemaker, and his throne will stand firm forever. And the second antiphon, his kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. All kings will serve him and obey him. And now we read Psalm 116. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful forever. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. All kings will serve him and will obey him. And the third antiphon, Christ has received the authority and glory of a king. Every people, tribe and nation will serve him forever. And now we have a canticle reading from the book of Revelation. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and praise, for you created all things, and by your will existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord our God, to take the scroll and to open its seal, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed many for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. Christ has received the authority and glory of a king. Every people, tribe and nation will serve him forever. A scripture reading is from Paul to the Ephesians. God raised Christ from the dead and enthroned him at his right hand in the heavenly realm, far above all government and authority, all power and dominion, and any title of sovereignty that can be named not only in this age, but in the age to come. He put everything in subjection beneath his feet and appointed him as supreme head to the church, which is his body and as such holds within it the fullness of him who himself receives the entire fullness of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response for yours are majesty and powers. Yours, Lord, is the sovereignty. Yours are majesty and power. Yours, Lord, are the sovereignty. You are ruler of all. Yours are majesty and power. Yours, Lord, is the sovereignty. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher to the Holy Spirit of God. Yours are the majesty and power. Yours, Lord, is the sovereignty. And the Magnificat Antiphon for the solemnity of Christ the King, the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his ancestor. He will reign in the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will know no end. Alleluia. And now, my dear friends, I invite you to join me as we say the beautiful canticle of the Magnificat, the canticle of Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty handed. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his ancestor. He will reign in the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will know no end. Alleluia. And now, my dear friends, we come to our evening intercessions. And for those not logged in, call on your highest power. Use the gift that God has given to you the gift of free will. You may light a candle, and if anything troubles you, ails you, and you wish Almighty God to hear your prayer, name your intentions, bless them, and release them to God in a spirit of mindful gratitude, and say thank you. You only have to ask once, for to ask an intention many times, is not only a sign of disrespect, it's also a sign that you do not trust in the power of God, which I pray isn't true. So now we begin our intercessions for this beautiful feast, the solemnity of Christ the King. To Christ our King, who is first in all things, 
and in whom all things exist, let us confidently pray. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. Lord Jesus Christ, our King and our Shepherd, gather your flock from every corner of the earth. Protect it in your fresh and fertile pastures. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. <clears throat> Jesus, our leader and saviour, make all people your own. Heal the sick, seek out the lost, preserve the strong, bring back the strayed, reunite those who are scattered and give new hope to the downhearted. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. Jesus, eternal judge, when you hand over your kingdom to your Father, remember us, your faithful people. Let us take possession of the kingdom prepared for us since the foundation of the world. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. Jesus, Prince of Peace, remove from men's hearts the greed that leads to war. Speak words of peace to your people tonight. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. Jesus, heir of all nations, bring all mankind to the kingdom of your Father, Mother God, entrusted to you by Almighty God. Move all men and women to acknowledge you as the head in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. Jesus, firstborn of all creation and first to be born from the dead, bring all the departed to the glory of your resurrection. Response, Lord, may your kingdom come. And this evening, I would like to pray for all of you who have joined me to commemorate this beautiful festival, the solemnity of Jesus the Christ as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I bring our dear sister Sue and her family, especially James and Paul and Sarah. I bring Aunt Evelyn and we thank you God for prayers being answered for Aunt Evelyn. I bring you Mary who's joined us this evening and we thank you for the many, many prayers that have been offered for Martina and for Mary. And for dear Nirmala, we just continue to thank you, Almighty God, for holding Nirmala close to your heart and letting her know that she is loved. I pray this evening for you who've not logged in, though I may not know you by name, but the one who created you knows you well and wishes to touch your heart with love. For all our beautiful presenters, I want to thank Almighty God for the eclectic mix of fine presenters we have now on our channel, Doves for Peace, and for our new website, Doves for Peace Virtual TV, that will go live tomorrow officially. And we pray that many more from different faiths and none, will come and join in the celebrations for peace from all faiths and none. So we thank Almighty God for the energy exchange that is offered lovingly, selflessly, from so many of our presenters. And tonight we pray <clears throat> for all faiths and none, we pray for all religious leaders, but especially His Holiness the Dalai Lama, a good man. We pray that Beijing will cease their policy on closing down churches and making Christians suffer, and that they will allow the Dalai Lama to return to Tibet and honor their promise. We pray for Pope Francis, who has his own demons to deal with within the Vatican. 
many who give lip service to God and who live a comfortable, cozy lifestyle rather than meet and embrace the marginalized in the family of God. And I pray for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, who is head of our Church of England, and for all men and women of all faiths who've given their lives to God in service, and especially those who are weary this night, who are unwell or may be dying, we remember them. We pray for peace in the world. We pray for peace in Syria, in Iraq, between Israel and Palestine, in Somalia, in the Sudan. There is so much unrest in our world and really it all stems from man's inhumanity to mankind. Father, Mother, God, we come to you this evening on this great feast and we ask you to forgive us, your children, for the heinous crimes that we are guilty of, to the animal kingdom, to nature, to one another, and to the gift and legacy of love. Let us pray now quietly for our own personal intentions. And now I would like us to sing the Lord's Prayer on this beautiful feast. Beautiful, beautiful. And as we come now to our closing prayer on this beautiful solemnity, the eve of Christ the King of Kings, let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, it is your will to unite the entire universe under your beloved Son, Jesus, the cosmic Christ, the King of heaven and the King of earth, grant freedom to the whole of creation and let it praise and serve your majesty forever. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus the Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and now for the Celtic blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gifts of sea and sky. Amen. As we blow out our candles, I blow peace to you. And now together, let us blow peace to the whole family of God, for they are our brothers and our sisters. Amen. Amen. And that brings us to the end of Vespers, and I want to thank you from my heart for joining me this evening. And now on Doves for Peace at 8 o'clock this evening, we have Sister Cynthia from Mississippi, who will be talking to us for an hour. She's the founder of the Mystical White Rose, an international organization of monastics, a beautiful soul, and the co-administrator of our website, Doves for Peace Virtual TV. And I'm back here tonight for part 20 of our Christian mystics. And at this time, we're talking about Nicholas of Cusa, a Christian mystic. I hope you can join me at 10 o'clock. But for now, have a beautiful evening. Take care. God bless you. Keep safe. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah, Paxet Bonum. Om Shanti. Solo de Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of your God Goddess reawaken within your heart the I Am Presence of God who loves you. God bless you till we meet again. Mm -hmm.